Steve Vittery. Friday night, Steve Vittery took the mat for the 17th time this season, and Drexel's Charles Onks was his 17th opponent defeated. I've always used the motto, be the hammer, not the nail. So far, he's pounded out a perfect record bonus points in every match. The 57 seconds Friday marking his fastest of nine balls this year, and his number one national ranking at 157 pounds. It's actually been a dream of mine since, since I've always started wrestling, like to be ranked number one in the country because everybody watches those guys, everybody you know, it's waiting for him to lose, but like, wrestling's just wrestling to me. The winningest wrestler in Cocalico history, Fittery left small town Denver with a four-year career record of 139 wins, 20 losses, and among tournament golds, state silver. As a two-time All-American at Shippensburg, Fittery added to his medals collection with D2 silver before making the near seamless transition to the ultimate stage, finishing fifth in his Division I national debut. Steve Fittery is having his way. It's a new division, it's a new level, you gotta train to be the best at this level. You know, right from the warm-up to his live wrestling to his cool-down, he just attacks. Ever since I came here, he's been telling me that I'm gonna be a national champion, I'm gonna be a national champion. It took me about three months to start believing him. He had finished runner-up in, um, in high school, runner-up at Division II, and I think that uh, he's ready to, to come out number one. In less than two months, Steve will have the chance to defend his number one ranking for good and become just the second national champion in AU history, and he can do it right here in his home state in Philadelphia. This is like a storybook, and if the ending comes out like, every, you know, like our hometown's hoping, like it'll be just a storybook finish, and I'm excited for it. Shape-wise, I don't think there's anybody in the country that can go with him because he just is, has an unbelievable gas tank on him. He just goes and goes and goes. So if he can just keep working on his technique and keep continuing to improve between now and the end of the season, I don't see anybody being able to stop him. Come out to nationals, watch Steve Fittery try to win a national title.